Hey guys, Nigerian judiciary in recent times came under French attacks over what may be regarded as a, a cheapening out of the democratic process by many justices of the appeal courts, Supreme Courts, and other lower courts. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. Thank you. You are a judiciary bandit. You are unfit to be Supreme Court judge, Senator Apple, Lampo's Justice Chairman. What is going on? Let's find out. Like as I said, the Nigerian judiciary in recent times come under French attacks over what many regarded as a cheapening out of the democratic process by many justices of the appeal court, the Supreme Court, and other lower courts. Many of them cited an example with the Plateau State's current situation where the duly elected lawmakers were sacked from office because of the wrong judgment of the judges of appeal courts. The wrong precedence of the judiciary system is making it appear as a constitutional conundrum that the masses have confidence in the judiciary system. During a World Press Conference, a former senator to have represented Adamawa Northern Senatorial District, Mr. Abu Cliff, said the judiciary system is putting the country in a tight corner where common people are no longer safe. Senator Abu Lampold Justice Choma Wosu during the press conference and regarded her as the worst than bandits operating as kidnappers. Apo said Wosu is a judiciary bandit who is not fit or qualified to become a judge in the Nigerian judiciary system and talks more of becoming a Supreme Court judge. The former senator petitioned President Bola Tunubu about how Wosu is corrupt and has battled the image of battered the image of the judiciary with the cash and carry judgment she passed against him. According to him, he won his election with over 11,000 votes because Choma was corrupt. He gave a prevented judgment. We have kept quiet for a long and seen some judiciary bandit become threat to Nigerian democracy. It's time to hold them liable. Why are judges above the law? Do you need to be in a good book of a judge or on the side of the law for justice to prevail? The judge who gave the, the scale and prevented judgment to the extent of going against a judgment about my judgment in other cases were nominated to be a Supreme Court judge. I have petitioned the president never to swear in Choma because we don't need those types of judges in the Supreme Court. My petition to the Nigerian Judiciary Council is there to tell never to allow her to be sworn in because she is corrupt, Abu said. While reading his letter of petition sent to President Bola Metunubu to journalists in Abuja, Abu called on the President of the Court of Appeal, Justice Monica to know that the Court of Appeal ju judges have become uh, a, a share and carry men and women working as point of sale, the POS machine agent. Abu read the petition later sent to President Bola and warned the Justice Choma Wusu should not be sworn in as a judge of the Supreme Court. He said Choma did a judiciary chip detard against him and his brother, who were targeted using her to frustrate the democratic system. Well, I don't know, but most must still win. Uh, since you petitioned the president, let us see the outcome of your petition. As one-time senator, you should conduct yourself well. Abu, that cannot control himself. He fights with women in shopping mall. This is the shameless clan found in sex toy shop in Abuja and the same caricature senator 
who stood in the red carpet chamber making noise that he took common entrance exam in primary three and won not pass. Hmm. Uh, criminal justice. I believe with Senator Abu, our judges are the problem of Nigeria. Nigeria is becoming like a rogue nation during election. The people vote and choose their choice. Yakubu Ainek declares who paid them and the winner and the Okay, someone also said here yeah, that why should Abu, Senator Ado, Abu, have he personalized this? He said all the judgments related to the 2023 elections in the various uh, tribunals and courts were compromised. We all saw what happened and none of the justice involved in the election petitions only need you know, handling is free from corruption. Nigerian judiciary system have become a cash and carry thing. And this is really worrisome. Yes. If Nigerian judiciary system can become, you know, cash and carry, it's worrisome. Now the question is where will they go from here? If the judiciary, they are not trusted by the people, the INEC, they are not trusted by the people, a time will come. People will stop coming out to vote because it will look as if it, it just it, it will just be like a waste of time because after voting they will still give you know the election to who they want to give to and this will discourage people they will still give the votes to who they want to give to it will discourage people so this is not. It's not a good thing. It's not. It's not something uh, Nigeria should celebrate about the judiciary system. Have a problem, and it's high time they address all these issues. So, guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.